when you watch this video, you're going to realize I already then made the video, and I'm just putting this ahead of my video. I come out here, and I start talking. And boy, then I realize so much that I realize that, that I'm not saying, because I can't say everything. But these antenna designs that I got. Now, now listen, I'm with y'all. I was, I was like y'all, you know. I just made me an antenna to, to uh, there was a show I wanted to watch. But I didn't believe there was no way to make a homemade antenna better than a store-bought antenna. I was like that. Now, see, here's the problem between me and you. I don't know how to tell you this right here is the best TV antenna ever made. Hey, listen. They make antennas you see pictures at. Boy, I bet that'll do good. They make antennas that look like it could just take off and go to the moon. This right here is unbeatable. Y'all know what the problem about this antenna right here is? Let me tell you what the problem is. It ain't shipping friendly. And let me tell you about these antennas. DB game, and we talking about DB game. This antenna, these antennas I'm making, is just about to bust with DB game. I can't, I can't put no more on the antenna with a booster. And I do know how to make these antennas I make stronger. You know, like just the ultimate antenna, I know how to make that ultimate antenna stronger like right by itself but it see it don't go good with a booster now if you wasn't using a booster it it's wonderful also gonna tell you about youtube you know about what they doing they doing something about people copying people's videos and stuff like that they doing something to them you know they pulled a rug out from under their feet because mo a lot of the antenna videos you've seen they seen somebody else's video and it's like, hey, I think I'm going to make one. They done something to jerk the red rug out from under the feet. I'm going to show you that. Hello, everybody. This is Danny Hodges. I want to tell y'all about reflectors. Now, I had a man that sent me a picture of an antenna on Facebook. A friend of mine, you know, well, he's not a friend. He's a YouTube friend. Okay. He sent me a picture. And uh, some of y'all do that sometimes. I looked at his picture, and I see this all the time, and this is the man for you. Okay. He had his reflector uh, bent backwards. Now, now, let me show you what I'm talking about. But let me show you how he had his. Okay, you see that? You see how he's got his, how it's bent back? I'm going to show you a picture of, of his. Okay. Now, I commented back to him that it would pick up better if he had his uh, reflector flat. And you know what he ditched me back? He said he tried that. And it, and it picked up more channels like this. And see, I can't, I can't tell him he's wrong. Uh, because he could be overshooting. But I really don't think so. Uh, when you test an antennas, you near about got to have two laptops side by side. You can't, like, check one later. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they almost got to be doing it at the same time because a TV antenna, they'll pick up different at different times. But, but somehow or another, he's mistaken. Now, he ain't lying. He's just mistaken. Now, see, I've done this before. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about now. And see, you know, a long time ago, whenever I was starting, I seen somebody had their whiskers bent forward. And uh, I ain't never tested an antenna like, like bent with the reflector bent backwards. But I've done this before. You know, with the, with the reflector straight. And this right here 
equals up to the reflector bent backwards. Now, you know what I'm talking about. And, y'all, I didn't just check that for, for five minutes. When I check something, you know, you got to know without a doubt. You don't just want to see what you want to see, and then you turn around and walk off. Man, you test and test and test, and then you get up and you do it again tomorrow. The same thing. You like to do that for three days. If if I had my laptop set up, that you would see right fast like I could just simply, because see, it's easy to do like if you just take uh, two of these, see, or, or just one bay here, and you see all you got to do is just move that that one and you can tell what it's doing and I'm telling you I've done it back and forth upside down now if he had a booster and he done that and he got more channels I would tell him that uh his booster was overdriving and it and that caused it to be the booster to be less powerful and you can trust me on that because like I used to use the 7777 on the channel, channel master, and I upgraded my TV antenna. You know, I make it stronger, like by itself. And then when I did, I couldn't use that most powerful booster that they make no more. From that day on, I couldn't use that no more. I had to step down to the 778. I got to go look at my footage and see what I actually said, y'all, because I think I left some stuff out. I want to show you probably the most overlooked antenna on the Internet. You see that right there? That's the all-in-one. And, uh, you know, I don't know why it ain't doing that good. I mean, it gets views, but it don't get a bunch of views like the other ones, you know. But uh, I, I got this right here fixed to test. And I also got the double antenna over there to test, too. These short days is messing me up. Yeah, I knew I was leaving something out. When you make one of these antennas, if you live like 40 miles from the TV towers, you probably don't need a reflector. And this thing, if it hadn't got a reflector on it, see, you can get channels from 360 without that reflector. That reflector, it'll block everything coming in the back. But it'll make it real powerful coming out the front. And see, we have to have them down here in the town I live in. And you can take this thing, and, and I've done this, y'all. I've done everything. Like, you wouldn't believe how much I've done. You wouldn't believe it. But but I've had this on the meter before, you know, without reflector. And it's sitting and turning in a circle. And it does do funny things. Uh, Like the meter will go up and down. It does all kind of stuff. So, see, even if you... Even, you don't just stand it up any kind of way. It'll actually pick up its best, like, if the if the signal's going this way into the antenna. And it'll pick up as good like that as it will sideways like this. <laughs> so I'm telling you, you know, you still, when you put one up, if you don't use the reflector, you still might need to turn it some. And y'all, I get the same questions over and over and over. I got a video on that TV software I use with the signal meter. I got a I got a video that shows you the distance of the reflector. I got tons of videos that show you what size copper to use. I got videos that shows you a reflector demonstration of how good it works with it on and how good it works with it off. But y'all, you just kind of got to look around. Go, like, go look through my channel. They stuff that I've never told before, but they but most of the most of the questions I get, they are answered right there on my two channels. That that uh Danny S. Hodges and this Southern Ideas or whatever the name of it is. And then see, I get about twenty calls a day. I'm talking about I'm putting up antennas, I'm making antennas. And man, I had to rest some too. You see this? You know, the last time you seen this, I had it on the truck. I done took this up there to the church land four times. And my footage was real bad. And I hadn't made it back up there yet. And I told you this right here was the most powerful antenna that's ever been made. 
And let me let you in on a secret. I know how to make one more powerful than this. Well, actually, I done made one. I'm getting a patent on it. But I know how to make uh, one that's liable to be stronger than the one I'm getting the patent on. I do. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show that like one day before too long. Y'all that know me, I, and I don't know how y'all know me so good, but y'all got me pegged out pretty good. You know I always keep my promises, and I always do everything I say I'll do. I'm actually like that in real life. I think about quitting this, uh, putting up antennas every day of my life. Not quitting YouTube, just putting them up. I done got tired of it. And money don't make no difference to me, see. Here's the antenna that I had up out of business. Look at that pole. It, it come through that hurricane we had. Like, uh, reckon it might have been, yeah, it might have been 2017, the one that come from Florida up through Georgia. This is the pole. And it was and it was in a place where it could have been light up, you know, but I don't know why. I didn't, I didn't have none to, I didn't have no antennas to blow down. None. This antenna was set up at a finance company. And man, they was they had a TV in there. They were selling a lot of them things, man, and financing them. <laughs> the the uh the own new owners bought the business, they made them take the TV out, so I went and picked the antenna up because they didn't pay me nothing to put the antenna up. I just put it up there to make extra money. And it was about more than I wanted to do, too. Y'all see this big old monster right here I took down off a woman's house? I put that little old ultimate antenna up in the place of this antenna. And the ultimate antenna stomped a mud hole in that antenna right there. And I want to I want to tell you this right here. I told you I was going to tell you about YouTube. They've made it to where you got to have four thousand hours watch time and a thousand subscribers, and you got to do it in a year's time. You got to get that that much, and and y'all, that's a big hurdle. That's almost impossible to do. But if you got good videos, you know you'll 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 make it. But and it don't carry on from one year to the next. You got to do it. With, you got to do that within 12 months. Now they made it that to protect the YouTube creators from people just copying their videos. See, I mean that's what that's all about. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Man, my, I got to get busy. My mama's tearing me out of the frame on on views and everything. Hurry, boy, it's waiting there for you.